welcome back everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to make two concentration of uh, citric acid solution that you can use to adjust the ph of your beauty product so we are going to make two different ph adjusters that you can use to lower the ph of your beauty product so let's say you make a lotion for instance and you check it with your ph meter and you saw that your lotion is nine as a pH of 9 then you should know then that you have to lower it so what do you use to lower it? like I said in my previous video you're going to use an acidic solution and there are different concentration of acidic solution the most popular concentration is 1090 citric acid solution I use citric acid a lot because it's uh, more uh, cost effective than um, lactic acid another alternative if you have it at home is the lactic acid you can use lactic acid as long as it's not an AHA grade of lactic acid if it's just regular lactic acid you can use lactic acid but citric acid is cheaper and more readily available and cost effective so that's why I use citric acid and I use different concentration in my previous video I've shown you how to make 1090 citric acid solution the regular one we can use to make to adjust our, for a lotion for a toner but when we are making other beauty products that are perhaps more alkaline okay I want to correct myself in my previous video I said I said it no when you're making a product that you think is going to be more alkaline so let's just say it that way seven is a neutral anything below seven is acidic anything above seven is alkaline so I don't want to confuse anybody so let's say your lotion has a pH of 8, it's too alkaline, it's not safe for the skin, so we have to lower the pH, then you will use an acidic solution. Now, if your product is highly alkaline, let's say you check the pH of your lotion, your toner, or whatever you are making, and you notice the pH is around 12, oh my god, you're going to have to use a 50-50 citric acid solution. Okay. Check the pH and the pH is around maybe 8, 9 or so. That's okay. You can use 10, 96. And how do you make that? Quickly, I will not take your time too much, but I just like to explain the concepts to you so that you get it once and for all. So how do you do it? You measure. I want to make 50-50 citric acid first, okay? I'm going, I'm going to make 100 gram. For 100 gram, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 50 gram of citric acid okay to that I'm going to add 50 gram of distilled water for those that know so much chemistry no I'm not applying the principle of the core principle of chemistry It's just just regular straightforward instruction for adjusting pH so measure 50 gram of citric acid anytime you want to use citric acid in adjusting pH please go for uh, UP, uh, U, USP grade, okay, USP grade has great solubility in water, and this is what I recommend for cosmetic adjustment, or if you want to make any cosmetic products, go for USP grade, which is, is available at, you know, different other supplier, but I highly recommend you go for Pure Blend Natural, you can find the link in the description box below, so, so that we're going to have 50 gram of distilled water. So add 50 gram of distilled water to that. Mix. Citric acid solution is the opposite of light solution. As you all know, line is corrosive and high alkaline. So you're going to feel a cold sensation, okay? It's cold. It's not corrosive. As you all know, citric acid is a weak acid. Why? Light solution is a strong base, right? So you mix it well. Once everything has dissolved, you are going to package it. It may take some time 
to dissolve but do not worry the chemical reaction is not too uh, too slow so it's going to it might take around five minutes or less depending on the grade of citric acid you have if you have USB grade it should be ready within three minutes if you have USB grade it should be ready within three minutes So once everything has dissolved, what you have to do now is just package it in a suitable container. Package it in a suitable container. In my next video, I'm going to tell you the type of container you should be packaging your pH adjusters in. So please keep that in mind. Make sure you don't miss that next video. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? So that you'll be notified. And also click the notification icon. That will notify you when I upload that video. So you package it into a suitable container. Don't worry, in my next video I will tell you uh, the suitable container to package your pH adjusters in. I don't want to bombard you with too many information up front, okay? So that is our 50-50 citric acid solution. And also in my subsequent video, I'm going to tell you how long you should, st you should uh, store this for, okay? This is good to go, very, very, very effective for lowering the pH of your beauty product. Now let's make the second concentration. The second concentration is the general purpose one. This is what you want to use for your lotion, your toner, as long as you check the pH, it's not too alkaline. So if you check the pH, the pH is 8, 7, 6, and so on and so forth. You want to adjust the pH, you want to lower it a little bit further, you will use this. So I call it 1090 citric acid solution. So what do you measure just by the name? 10% to 90%, 10 gram, because I'm making 100 gram, I'm going to measure 10 grams of citric acid solution, uh, citric acid, not solution. Then I'm going to have 90 grams of distilled water to it. I'll mix it together, then I'll package it. You can see that the world of cosmetic formulation is very, very interesting. If you learn it from the right source, you will. You'll love it. So that's why I made a stable cosmetic formula available for all. Okay, so you might want to take advantage of that and join me as Table Cosmetic Formula. Make me your mentor and you'll never regret it. Make me your mentor and you will be, you know, one of the best cosmetic chemists ever cos and cosmetic formula too. So to that, we're going to have 90 grams. So I ha here have 10 grams of, this, of uh, citric acid solution. It's a USB grid. It has tinier particles smooth particle so it's going to dissolve faster that's why you see is that started uh, dissolving so we're going to add water to a 90 gram of water So to that also we mix within two to three minutes because this is a USB grade of citric acid is going to dissolve and now just not even up to two minutes it has dissolved and this is what you want. Head over to purebladenatural.com and go ahead and get your own USP grade. I don't know the grade you have right now, but for cosmetic formulation, I highly, highly recommend you get the USP grade. Now it has dissolved. All you have to do is just pour it in a suitable container. I'll tell you the type of container to use in my next video. Okay. As you all know me, I like, you know, picking a subject at a time so that we don't mix this up. So package it in a suitable container.
Citric acid is a weak acid, so you don't have to worry about, you know, the type of worry we, we do have when we are handling lye, right? So citric acid is a weak acid, and uh, it's good enough to touch. It's even... Citric acid is even cold to touch, not hot, so that's how you know citric acid is a weak acid. So you don't have to worry too much, but do not drink it, okay? <laughs> so now we have 50, 10, 90 citric acid solution and 50, 50 citric acid solution. So how do I use them? When I make my lotion, I check the pH of my lotion is around 7, 8, maybe around 9. That's okay. I can throw in a, a, a little amount of this at a time. Do not use too much because it, it acts very fast. If you use too much, it's going to lower the pH beyond what you expected. So now, if I have a very, very highly alkaline lotion, perhaps an active in your beauty product made your lotion very, very alkaline. Like if you reach 12, you are going towards, uh, if you reach 12, you are going up. Anything beyond 10, go ahead and use a little bit of this. It's going to lower down the pH. Of I highly recommend when you are doing that, depending on the amount of product you use, you ask me what increment should I use. The increment to use depend on the pH level. Let's say I check my pH right now and the pH of my 100 gram lotion is around uh, 7. I want it to be around between 5 and 5.5 because 5.5 is a very safe pH that's compatible with the skin. And what I'm going to do for my 100 gram lotion, I'll use a, a disposable. In the lab a lot, depending on what you are making, I recommend you use a disposable. Okay, drop one. Okay, make it check the pH. If you think you need more, drop one, two, that's it. Just take a drop at a time. And another thing you can do, if you have this kind of uh, container, you can use a drop like this. Just one drop at a time is all you need. Okay, just make a drop. That's another thing you can use if. So, that's about it for this video. In my next video, I'm going to show you also, uh, just like this, as straightforward as this is. If you have any question, feel free to drop your question in the comment box below. Now, in my next video, I'll show you how to make this. I don't want to mix this too much, so in my next video, we're going to make a uh, different cons concentration of lye solution, okay? Lye is a strong base, highly high, very, very strong, so you have to undo it with care. There's a different procedure for that, so that's why I don't want to mix it with this okay so stay tuned for that video if you love this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video and also don't forget to head over to my formulation training website where we do a lot of projects uh, one project at a time at stablecosmeticformulas.com you will be glad you did thanks for joining me and happy formulating everyone